reduce stress and anxiety by training your brain not to worry. A lot of us may not realize this, but anxiety is something we all experience. Obviously, some experience it more severely than others. But it's quite common, according to WebMD, about 40 million Americans live with anxiety disorder, which is more than the occasional worry of fear. To be more specific, an anxiety disorder can range from a generalized anxiety disorder to a panic disorder, according to the site. Before we begin this video, make sure you subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on all of our awesome life hacks, tips, and tricks from your number one bestie. Now, keep watching to find out how you can train your brain to stop worrying about things you can't control. Number four, understand your anxiety. It is important to understand your anxiety if you want to control it. From understanding why you have anxious thoughts to understanding how to deal with them, having knowledge about your anxiety will help you overcome it. There are a lot of professional and medical opinions on whether or not anxiety is a result of a chemical imbalance. Though that may not be part of the problem, your surroundings also play a major role in how you feel. According to Calm Clinic, when you feel anxious about things, it could be logical, it could be emotional, or it could be just the way your brain responds to natural chemical processes. Try to understand your anxiety and why it's happening. With an understanding of why you feel the way you do, you can better help yourself learn how to deal with your anxious thoughts and how to overcome them as well. If you're having trouble figuring out how to understand your anxiety, there are certain things you can add to your daily routine to help improve your thought processes and put you in a more positive mindset. Stick around until the end to find out what these simple additions are. Number three, observe what your body and mind react to. Calm Clinic recommends that you get in tune with yourself and your mind and figure out why your body is reacting to threats the way it does. This can help you develop a way to stop anxiety from escalating because you'll become more mindful of yourself and your surroundings. It could work for some more than others. Calm Clinic recommends that if you assume that a chemical imbalance is what's causing your anxiety, regardless of what treatment you'll get, you still need to learn coping tools that can help you overcome your anxiety. If you learn how to control the extent that anxiety affects you, you'd make a positive change to your chemical imbalance. If you find that certain situations, conversations, or people make you feel anxious and worried, try to understand why your mind and your body react to these certain things. Once you figure out why your body is reacting to these things the way it does, you can develop techniques that can help you deal with these types of situations. Keep watching as we continue to count down ways you can train your brain to stop worrying about the things you can't control. Number two, challenge difficult thoughts. The Center for Applied Research in Mental Health and Addiction lists the second step that you can do to train your brain to stop worrying about things you simply can't control. That is, challenging the thoughts that you're worried about. The site notes that sometimes it helps to ask a friend or a family member's opinion about the situation. So for example, if you have anxiety about someone talking negatively about you, ask the person about it first before you start panicking about it. The reality is that there is no point in panicking about something that might not even exist in the first place. Then, if the situation does in fact exist, the next thing that might help is to see how others would react to it if they were in your shoes. The site notes that even imagining how most people would react to a worrying thought will help you come up with a more fair, realistic way of thinking. If you notice that you're having a lot of negative thoughts or tend to doubt yourself or think negatively about yourself, train yourself to stop. It may be difficult to do so, but try it out. Whenever you notice a negative thought come into your mind, do everything you can to ignore the thought. Instead, think of something positive. Our thoughts can often control our emotions and actions. Overcoming negative self-talk is one of the first steps in rewiring your mind and getting rid of anxious thoughts which can consume you. Number one, train your brain. 
Very Well Mind says that when you find yourself in a stressful situation, you have to train your brain into doing calm thinking. There's no way that it'll happen on its own. Just like giving advice to your friends when you're worrying about things, you have to tell yourself how to look at a situation in a positive way. Essentially, if excessive worrying occurs, talk back to it. Of course, this is easier said than done, but you can't feed into the worrying thoughts. That'll just make it worse. For example, if you ask yourself, what if I keep getting worse? Or what if she tells this person everything I just told her? Then you are feeding into the anxiety. Try to keep away from that and instead feed your brain with more realistic thoughts. One great way to train your brain into relaxing is through meditation. Meditation can help bring your mind back into the present and focus on calming thoughts rather than anxious thoughts. If you find that you have anxiety and are overwhelmed with negative stressful thoughts, take a moment to yourself. Focus on your breathing and as you breathe in and out, clear your mind of all your anxious thoughts. If more anxious thoughts begin to come to your mind, just bring your focus back to your breathing. Do this for a few minutes at a time or until you start to feel calm again. Meditation is known as one of the greatest ways to relieve stress and is something that you should absolutely consider doing if you find that you are often overwhelmed with anxious thoughts. It takes a lot of conscious effort to get to a healthy state of mind. You'll get there. Believe it or not, there are certain exercises that you can do to train your brain to stop worrying about things you simply can't control. There are various strategies that can help you to not only manage but potentially reduce stress as a whole. These things may be easier said than done and no one truly understands the anxiety that you go through unless they are in your shoes. But the reality is that you can take all of the medication in the world to help your anxiety, which of course works but trying some of these coping skills can help you in the long run. Now that you know how to train your brain to stop worrying about things you just can't control, here are some simple things that you can add to your daily routine which can help ease your anxiety, release endorphins, and make you feel more relaxed. Exercise. Exercise not only releases endorphins, which are body's feel-good hormones, but it can also improve your health and make you feel better about the way you look and the way you feel. This can help contribute to more positive thoughts. Eating right. A good, nutrient-rich diet is another way to improve your overall health, which can in turn make you feel better about yourself. A good diet will also improve your bodily functions and give you more energy. Sleep. Sleep is a huge part of our everyday lives and people who lack sleep or do not get a good night's sleep every night tend to have higher levels of stress. Sleep can help reduce stress levels, control blood pressure, and even more. When you have not had a good night's rest and are feeling tired, you are more irritable, easily agitated, and less patient. If you want to reduce your stress levels and feel more focused and alert throughout the day, make sure that you're getting an adequate amount of sleep every night. Now that you know how to train your brain to stop worrying about the things you can't control as well as how to understand your anxiety, it's time to put it all to the test. Do you or have you ever experienced anxiety? How do you overcome feelings of anxiety? Let us know in the comment section below. Enjoyed this video? Hit the like button and share with your friends. Also, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.